Hi guys, little vintage me 64 here. I have decided I think I'm gonna make this a uh, premiere video so that I can chat with some of you guys. Um, I did a premiere a while back as a test. Um, it was for my uh, dining room um, uh, well, gallery wall, and I had one person that chatted with me. It was Tina. So thank you very much, Tina. Um, now that I have more subscribers, maybe I'll get at least five people in the chat. So uh, we'll see. And also, I figured out how to add a picture at the end of my video. So after I say goodbye here, make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to show you uh, two pictures of uh, the laundry cart that I got. And here in a moment, I'll explain um, so you'll know why I'm putting the two pictures on the end. Because if you watched my haul video from um, August 10th, then you know I was so excited because I won this laundry cart. But there was uh, three items that I got... Um, I guess you could say fooled or duped on. So I will explain that here in just a moment. I wanted to start out by telling you guys what this was here. Uh, I didn't have very many people wanting to guess. What this is, it's a garlic masher or garlic smasher, however you want to call it. And it fits great here in the palm of your hand. And you smash your garlic with it. And uh, I guess you can also use it afterwards. Um, some people don't know that stainless steel is very good at um, taking odors off of your hands, like after you cut onions or garlic or things like that. But I actually, um, I was using this also to clean my hands, but since then, I actually got a bar of uh, stainless steel soap. And this works really good. You just rinse your hands under some water and, and rub this around, you know, just like, like you do a bar of soap and it takes off the smell and I got this I think I bought this off of Amazon it came in a pack of two so I gave my husband one since he's a fisherman he can use it to um, clean his hands after you know he cuts up all the fish and stuff okay let's get started here and I'm gonna have to put my glasses on every once in a while because some of these items I forgot what I paid my first item I paid a dollar twenty-five it's an Indianapolis Colts uh, locker room sign my future uh, daughter-in-law is a big uh, Colts fan, so I got this for her. I'll probably just give this to her like a stocking stuffer or something. And um, I thought maybe if she ever gets a girl cave down the road, she can hang this up. So I thought for a dollar twenty-five, that was a pretty good deal. Then I got me a sign too for my girl cave. I got this metal sign. It says, warning, woman cave, enter at your own risk. Now, I had to pay up for this. I paid $9.25 for this. Um, I looked them up, knew they're about $15 or so. So I guess $9 plus, you know, the 10% um, fee, auction fee. I guess it's still good. But uh, someone kept bidding against me on this. I kept adding a dollar. They had added a dollar. So we went back and forth, and I'm glad they finally quit because I don't think I would have gone more than 10 on this. But uh, on my, my doors over here, I already have two other metal signs on my girl cave door. One says no trespassing, and the other one says do not enter. So I'm going to hang this one up there. Now I need to find one that says no men allowed. Well, some men might be allowed, but you know what I mean. So there's that sign. Then I was excited about my nesting dolls, and I believe I paid uh, yeah, $6.25 for these. There is a little bit of paint loss here in the front. But it's not too bad. Now they said these are vintage. I don't know how to tell. But uh, here's the first one. And I'm going to put these on my um, Instagram page. So you guys can see what the whole set looks like. You know, when they're side by side. Here is the second size. And then inside her is this little character and then inside that one is a tiny little ghost someone else was bidding against me on this and I am so glad they stopped at 620 or stopped at six dollars or 625 because I didn't want to go too much further and right now I am bidding on um, two shelves at another online auction one you guys is a long white 
a wood a 12 foot shelf and then the other one is a brown color um, which is a I think a six foot shelf I think I'm gonna paint if if I win I hope oh please I hope I win I'm gonna hang those up here in my girl cave and I'm gonna display all my nesting dolls on on the 12 foot one that way when I'm sitting here I can enjoy and see them because right now I got them in my office on top of an old uh, wood file cabinet and I'm not in there every day so this way I'll have all my junk you know in my room here okay now my next item was a toy for my granddaughter I paid what did I pay for this excuse me you guys for a second some of the stuff I can't remember what I paid oh, I paid 275 for this it's called shimmer and shine and it changes colors I thought she could hang this on her uh, bedroom door it's got a little bit of a test button here can you guys tell let's see here there we go it's changing colors see there's green and blue and like a purple so I hope she'll like that then I got the fairy tale book let me see what I paid for that I think that was four dollars Oh gosh, what did I do with that? I'm sorry, you guys. I buy so much, sometimes I forget uh, what the prices are. Oh yeah, the Dean's, the 1977 Dean's Book of Fairy Tales. I paid $3.25. And it's in great condition. It has not uh, been uh, opened very often because some of the pages are still they're still kind of stiff see 1977 let me get a little closer and I'll show you the some of the graphics aren't they neat now the colors here in person are a lot more vibrant than my camera is picking up so I'm excited about this Oh, the match girl. Do you guys remember the story about the match girl? Look at here. Let's see what is this story here. Was oh, this Puss in Boots? What is this one? Oh no, it's called the uh, the White Cat. I don't remember that one. Do you guys remember that one? So, but I'm just so glad that uh, it's in excellent condition and nobody scribbled in it. Okay, let's see. The next item, I only paid $1, you guys. Look at this pretty box here. Like Paris themed. And inside are four plates. I guess they're probably like a salad or dessert plate size. Here's the back. And all four plates have the exact same uh, same pattern on them. But they don't even look like they've been used. There is no wear, no scratches, nothing. I think I'm going to put, I got another tip for you guys. For the, those of you store, you know, plates or have a booth. I used to put uh, coffee filters in between each plate on the shelf and stuff. So that... Uh, the top plate you know wouldn't scratch the bottom plate but get yourself the the large you know the real big um, coffee filters those work really good then the next item that I was fooled at was it was advertised as a lot of uh, vintage Pokemon cards and uh, my son he likes to collect the vintage ones from you know back in the 90s when when he was little so uh, I put a bid on these I won these for five dollars when I got home I looked at the dates and they're dated 2018 2017 2015 uh, the oldest one I believe is uh, 2007 yeah 2011 so these are definitely not vintage 
So I was disappointed about that. Then at another auction, I was kind of fooled. I thought this next item was larger. I, you guys, I thought it was at least, you know, like this wide and maybe, maybe this deep. It was some uh, tins. Here it is. I mean, it's still pretty neat. It's um, a German tin, and it's a millennial, a millennial trunk or millennial chest. It has people from throughout the history. See, it's got people's names and pictures and events. I'll show you the top again. The bottom is a little rusty, but it's not so bad. I paid $8 for this, but also inside are four other tins. And these tins had uh, gingerbread cookies in them. Here's the top. And there's tin one. Here's tin number two. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I collect, what don't I collect, but I collect maps and different atlases and postcards. I even have a stack of business cards, things like that. I was thinking about maybe putting it here in this trunk. And this is... This is the other tin, the last one. He's got just different uh, scenes in Germany. Then inside the trunk, there was some paperwork, you know, on the cookies. And inside also is this very long scroll. And it's got people's names throughout history, throughout the millennium, I guess. And it's their name, uh, the year they were born, the year they died, and what they were known for. Like, for example, I don't know if you can read. Let me get up here. I don't know if you can read. Like, it says Hans Christian Andersen. Can you guys see that? Hans Christian Andersen. It says he was born in 18... 05 died in 1875. You guys, I gotta pause a minute. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I am the contact for my mom's um, doctor, and I've been waiting on a call to hear from them about a, an upcoming appointment. So I'm sorry I had to pause and run downstairs. Now I'm out of breath. Okay, let me see. I think we left off. I was showing you Hans Christian Anderson. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, born in 1805, died in 1875. It says he was Danish. He was a poet. And he was best known for the princess and the pea. Now, in German, let's see if you guys can see this here. Right here. In German, it's, um, I hope I'm pointing it to the right. This one right here. It's Die Prinzessin auf der Erbse. And if you translate that, it means the princess on the P. But here in the States, you know, we say the princess and the P. Okay, let me put this back here. Yeah, my the picture, the picture showing the these uh, tins. I don't know what kind of camera angle they use, but I really thought I was getting a larger, larger tin. I mean it is it is bigger than normal. But I thought this was going to be a bigger tin, too. And let's see. I got uh, two more items to show you. Well, actually, three. I paid $1. And I got all these dominoes. And I got the dropsies today. I got all these dominoes. And these are, they say Texas. And they're, they're kind of a good chunky... I don't know nothing about dominoes, 
Laura, if you're watching this, Laura Bemos, I don't know. I mean, there's some type of a plastic, but they're, they've got some good weight to them. And I went through here. I have a complete set of uh, 28. And then I thought maybe there would be another set of 28, but I'm missing five of them in this bag here. So now I don't know. Should I sell the set of 28? Should I throw in this set or use this for crafting? What do you think I should do here? And with those, I got this little thing here. And there's some type of uh, building blocks in here. What I need to do is I need to go through here and see if this is a complete set. Maybe give this to uh, my little granddaughter. I'm not sure yet. Oh, I've got one more item downstairs in the living room I forgot to bring up. So I need to pause it for a second. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I paid $3 for this large box. It's a wood box. And I was fooled on this one, too. They didn't say that the latch... I can't really carry it from here because it'll pop open. The latch is broken here. It will not go inside here. And I've tried pulling it out, and I don't want to break the box. But it's very cute. Man, I keep telling you I got the dropsies today. It came with uh, three garden tools. They don't look like they've ever been used either. It came with uh, some gardening gloves. And some Big Lots seeds. And these are dated. They are dated, uh, it says packed for 2004, run number two, 2004 run two, but it's cute, you can take the drawer out, and then you can put your, you know, your utensils and stuff in there. I was thinking that when my granddaughter gets a little bit older, we can, uh, Get some fresh seeds and plant a little garden or do a little flower gardening. And you guys know, I think instead of three items, I was fooled on four. Let's see. I, this right here, the auctioneer didn't say that the latch doesn't work. Um, I was, oh, the Pokemon cards, they said were vintage, not vintage. And the tin treasure chest trunk thingy that looked larger too in the picture now my thing i'm disappointed at most was my laundry cart i still like it you guys i still like it i paid 28 dollars for it I, I do still like it it does need a lot of cleaning but the auctioneer didn't tell me that it was ripped on one side which i'm going to try to fix uh, they also didn't say that the wheels were all locked up and frozen it doesn't even move i do have some casters i can put on that and the size. I was really fooled by the size. And as I mentioned before, after I say goodbye here, make sure you stay tuned so you can see the pictures that were on the auction site. And let me know if you would have been fooled too. Now, since you guys know it's small, you'll probably say, oh, Diana, you're so stupid. You should have seen in the pictures how tiny that thing was. But without seeing it, I, I really thought it was large. So I'm going to have to get up. I'm going to put it on top of the couch here. I do have a blanket on top of my couch okay you guys here's the cart can you see it all right here i'll sit next to it see it doesn't even roll but it is pretty neat it says uh adamson's fabric care services here's the inside it's kind of faded on this side There is a date on the side here. I'll show you. I can't really read it. It's very dirty. I'm going to see if I can get this cleaned up a little bit better. Um, 
I think right here was the date. I think it says October. Oh, see, I can't tell what that is. 62, 63. I can't tell what that says there. Let me see. I'll show you where the rip is. Oh, the rip is right here. Right here's the rip. See this rip here? I'm going to see if I can get some kind of glue. Maybe I can glue that down. I'm just going to leave it up here in my girl cave. Store something in it. What do you guys think? I mean, I do like it, but I really thought it was one of those big ones like um, like the ones you see like at hotels or uh, dry cleaners. You know, you don't want to talk about the real large ones. So I was disappointed they didn't disclose the size on here. But I guess it was my fault too because I should have went and looked. Okay, you guys. I hope you liked my uh, haul today. And uh, thank you for chatting with me. When this comes out, it'll, like I said, it'll be a premiere with a chat. So thank you everybody for joining me. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see everybody very soon. Stay safe. And don't forget, I'm going to show you the pictures right now. Bye.